Luciano kept with Maranzano's five New York families, but to each family he added a consigliere, a skilled counselor and advisor, whose task was to ensure that problems within families were resolved without the need for violence. Luciano then unveiled his most striking innovation without precedent in the Sicilian Mafia or amongst American gangsters. Luciano, he created the commission, and the commission would be the board of directors. If any rules for the mafia throughout the country had to be changed, it would be up to the commission. And if there were any territorial disputes or disputes over, uh, over rackets, the commission would take care of it. Now, the concept there was to prevent wars. It is almost precisely what the various countries around the world did when they were faced with the same problem post-World War II. They created the United Nations. One could actually take the UN Charter and for most of it, substitute the word families for states and Cosa Nostra for the organization for the United Nations and Commission for Security Council, and the rules would be identical. As proof of his good intentions, Luciano introduced one other startling change. He would be just one amongst equals. There would be no boss of all bosses. Instead, Luciano introduced a more democratic form of leadership. The commission would consist of a board of seven family directors, five in New York and one each in both Chicago and Buffalo. Each would have a single vote with all the decisions determined by the majority. This would ensure all the leaders of the most powerful families had an equal say. He was this incredible, dynamic genius who saw how the landscape and how the tapestry of the mafia had to be organized. Here is somebody who comes along in 1931 and envisions that if the mafia was gonna prevail and succeed, it had to be a mirror image of American capitalism.